Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to create custom new material colors. It's not purely based on flutter or dart. It actually applies to anything that you can use material UI for. So the basis for creating a material UI color is having a palette, a color palette. You should have multiple colors based on a single primary color. So let me just show you. Okay, so in this, you can see that there are 10 colors. If you see, it starts at 50. After that, it's just an increment of 100 and up to 900. All right. And I have clearly marked which one is the primary color. In the previous video, when we implemented color controller and when we implemented the theming system, we used this particular color to style our application. The code for this, the code to implement this in Flutter is very simple. It starts at a very light color and it ends at a very dark color. Your primary color is almost in the middle. It is not actually important to have a primary color in the middle, uh, but that's usually how material colors are created in Flutter. You keep the primary color in the middle. When you create material color in Flutter, you actually have to specify a primary color and you can specify any color as the primary color, but you will also have to specify all these other colors. The principle behind material design is that multiple elements have to share a basic styling color and that is the point of creating material ui colors from a palette when you pass these colors to a material color constructor and when you pass that particular color to theme to style your application in the material app or the theme Flutter will automatically choose the appropriate color of the appropriate opacity or maybe the appropriate shade and then use that to style your application. So if you have noticed the buttons usually have a fallback color, it's usually blue in Flutter and uh, scroll view also has a, an inkle reaction when it's already in the top and when you scroll upwards, you can see a reaction. And it uses the default color, which is also blue, but it doesn't use the primary color. It uses a light shade for it with an opacity. So that's the point behind this. A flutter will automatically adjust the colors of your components of the basic and the, the provided components provided by flutter automatically according to the palette you have given them. Just keep this in mind. When you have, when you're creating a material color, you need four darker shades and five lighter shades. So all you have to do is like go to the color picker, open any design program, maybe Figma, Inkscape or any other program, Photoshop or whatever. Find your primary color and create lighter and darker shades for it. After that, just implement those shades according to the code I'm going to show you right now. As you can see, I have opened the project that we have been working on in the previous two videos. So we have already implemented the color controller and I have uh, provided uh, comments for you to understand uh, it better, the purpose of different variables and getters. All right, then let's get into implementing the material color. We have to get the code for all of these colors, the hex value of all of these colors. So let me just get the primary color copy and uh, yeah let's just implement the material color you can just declare it as style style material style or maybe something like that material style equals material color and after that if you hover over you can see that you can specify a primary color and you can specify a swatch it's a positioned variable okay primary color and for the primary color like zero x f f so zero x is just to denote that it's a h value ff stands for the alpha value and zero x ff and after that just paste the color code comma and after that we have to specify the swatch 
and for the swatch if you can hover over here you can see that it's a map of int and color so map and in this we have to specify sorry 50 and it actually has a color the shade corresponding to the 50 value the 50 value uh, and uh, for that we can choose 0x ff and let me just open figma here this is the shade that we want all right so if we just copy it okay we can just paste it so 50 is done just like this i think you can i use alt shift down arrow to copy lines 50 50 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we need 10 colors and we have to change these key values because they can't repeat and we have to change the color values also we can't just leave it with the with the first color it's a key value pair and it's a number corresponding to a color you can actually see a preview in vs code so that's always helpful for choosing colors so maybe let me just let me just show you so first of all like uh, create a rectangle or something and uh, change the color to the primary color all right and after that you can see it's almost in the middle ideally it should be in the middle but i mean we can't actually change the design of our application just for our own convenience so whichever color you have in most cases it will be in the middle so that it matches it goes well with the application in light mode and dark mode but some application don't have a dark mode some application don't have a light mode so maybe your color might not be in the middle i mean even this is actually convenient for us like we need five lighter colors and four darker colors so it's almost like the ideal placement for us the color is placed ideally now when choosing lighter shades all you have to do is like move your move the cursor to the left and you can just get the lighter shades and make sure that when you make it too close to this particular white color it will be too light the shade will be lost so maybe keep it a bit closer to the particular primary color bit so that uh, it will always have that particular shade and when you choose the dark shade don't just go to the right side don't just move the cursor to the right side instead do this move it to the right side and move it a bit down so that it the shade becomes a bit more dark that's a better way of doing it and for the next shade you go a bit right and a bit down so that it's a bit darker and i mean you can have a very sharp fall off the next color maybe you can make it a bit more close to the dark shade and the last color will be the darkest one so that's how you do it when you choose darker colors you go right and go you go down ideally th that's how you should do it so that the theme is perfect across all elements of your application for some elements, Flutter chooses the dark shade. For some elements, Flutter chooses the light shade. So make sure that you do this when you create a palette for your material color. So we just implement the material style and we have to pass it to a main function. Sorry, not our main function. Wherever we have the material app or maybe in your case, it might be the get material app. So we have to pass it to the material app theme theme data and in the theme data you pass the primary color and which should be the primary color color dot material sorry, sorry material style let me just okay we have to import it for one thing but it's a private thing we can just make it like material style okay so that's another thing so color to media so now all we have to do is import this and global that's all we have to do to access material style now when we start our application flutter will automatically choose particular colors for the components based on the palette you have passed to the material app 
So that's it. That's how you create a material color and that's the design principle behind it. So thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is useful for you.